What's up my friends? Welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. I used to have the worst scalp psoriasis and eczema ever. Constant dandruff, flakes, scalpy, scrapey, crunchy scabs and just horribleness. My scalp was an absolute mess when I suffered from eczema. The good thing is though that generally the scalp can heal very fast. And in today's video, I wanna give you guys my protocol that I use for healing my scalp, psoriasis, and eczema super fast. It was actually the first thing on my body that healed during the healing year when I cured my eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis. I'm excited to bring you guys this protocol. It's super easy and it's a step-by-step -step process, easy to follow, stay tuned. Step one, step one is the easiest part. This stuff, Epsom salt, quality Epsom salt. What I do with this, or what I used to do with this rather, is mix a little bit in my sink, just a splash of it so that the water turned a kind of you know, cloudy color. Mix it all around so that the water is nice and salty. And then what I would do is I would stick my whole head in that water for about two to five minutes every single day. So that's step one. Just use Epsom salt and soak your scalp with the Epsom salt for about five minutes daily. Feels great, reduces inflammation, reduces the itch. A lot of times, this simple step can do so much for you. So that's step one for me. A little caveat guys, I'm sure most of you guys know this, but these are topical treatments and the only way to cure eczema long-term is to heal your gut biome and your lifestyle with diet, nutrition, cleansing, detoxification, and everything else. Back to the video. Okay, step number two involves buying a shower cap and some sort of very thick, and I'm talking like gelatinously thick ointment. The one that is best is eczema honey, works really great for this. Also, aquifer works pretty good for this. Vaseline works pretty good for this. But the two best things for this part of it are eczema honey and castor oil. So what you do at night, and this will be hard for people that have longer hair, but it still works really well, is you get the castor oil or you get the eczema honey and you rub it directly into your scalp right before bed and then you put on a shower cap when you go to bed. So you sleep with the shower cap on and your head filled with the gooey, juicy, moisturizing stuff that's gonna hold all of the moisture and saturate your scalp with it overnight. Step three, oregano oil and tea tree oil as my shampoo three times a week. All you need is two drops of each essential oil into 20 ounces of water. That will make the perfect amount. Use all of that water on your head and use it as if it's some sort of shampoo or conditioner and then rinse it out. So that was my daily disinfectant. That will take care of fungal, bacterial, microbial crap that's going on on your scalp on the surface and work the problem out from the outside in as well. And step four, and this one is the most controversial because of the popularization of no moisture therapy, which I'm gonna make a video about very soon. I have some deep experiences with NMT, but for me, the way I cured my scalp psoriasis and eczema, and it's never come back, is this method, which obviously involves being hydrated, eating plenty of good healthy food, and using the proper moisturizers to heal the body because they can do so. So the last step of this very simple protocol is to simply use an oil of your choice that works for you. You might have to experiment a little bit. For me, coconut oil and safflower oil and olive oil worked absolutely amazing for this. And for me personally, I liked smelling like coconut oil. It made all the girls like me. Just kidding. Um, so you wanna deeply massage into your scalp in the morning and several times throughout the day. Keep your scalp completely moisturize during the healing process. Now, 
You can use whatever natural oil you want, the ones I just listed, but the way that I did it is I rubbed the coconut oil totally into my hair, and I did have a little bit more hair than I have now um, at that time, I was kind of growing it out, um, and then everything would get super greasy and disgusting. Let it sit there for 10 to 15 minutes and soak all the way in. Then simply grab a paper towel or a nice cotton towel and dab off the excess lubrication, moisture, greasiness, and you'll be good to go. You'll have a moisturized scalp that's treated and has had all these wonderful treatments throughout the week, and it will stay hydrated, which is a key to healing. Keeping those flakes moist and the hydration in the scalp or in the damaged area helps the healing process immensely. And that is it. That is my weekly routine for how I healed my scalp extremely fast. Like I said, everything else on my body took a year to heal, but doing this protocol and changing my diet and really focusing on the lifestyle, my scalp cured itself in like two and a half months. It was awesome. And my scalp was the thing that was the first thing that started. When I was a kid, I used to have the worst dandruff and an itchy scalp, and it was just always a problem. But the dermatologist always said, oh, it's just dandruff, or it's normal, it's fine, it's hormonal, he's just growing. They never addressed my diet, they never addressed the lifestyle, so I just thought it was normal. But it's not. If you have dandruff, if you have an itchy scalp, if you can't sleep at night because you're itching your head so much, there's a major systemic disease in your body that has to be addressed. Now, I have to caveat this because that's just how I am, but in this video, obviously, I'm talking about a topical treatment. This topical treatment works really well, but it won't do anything if you don't change your diet and customize your lifestyle. So. Leave your comments and questions down below if you have any. Um, remember to subscribe and share. Smash that like button, guys, if you like this video. For those of you who are looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. There's also a link in the description box for Skinessa, which I didn't have when I was healing my skin. I really wish that I did. I take it now every day. My clients take it, and it works really amazing. It's a skin health probiotic. There's a link in the description box for that. There's also a link in the description box for ButcherBox, which is a channel sponsor. Thanks, ButcherBox, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you. Discount code, get yourself quality meat. It helps the healing process immensely. Uh, on Instagram, Stuart Rob Stewart is my name. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. Thanks so much for watching the video today, guys. Thanks so much for your support. Let's get the word out to everyone suffering from skin disease that there is a path to healing. Um, it takes a while, it's not easy but it's totally worth it and it actually can be enjoyable and it can lead you to being an absolutely powerful and healthy person. Much love you guys, I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.